Good evening. We begin with the latest developments in the Cheshire home invasion case. Today, defense attorneys for the second defendant in the triple murder, Joshua Kamaszewski, made all kinds of requests as the sole survivor who lost his family that horrible day was back in the courtroom. News 8's Ted Coffey has been covering the day's developments and joins us live from New Haven Superior Court. Ted? Ann and Keith, it is early, but not a great day for the defense in this case. As you mentioned, they filed a number of motions. All of them discussed in court today were denied by the judge, including an effort to not disqualify potential jurors who oppose the death penalty. Other things discussed, including trying to keep people from wearing the Pettit Family Foundation pins on their clothes in the courtroom. That was denied. They even talked about restricting the media. The Pettit and Hawk families left New Haven Superior Court today without commenting on the pretrial motions for the second defendant in the triple murder Cheshire home invasion at the home of Dr. William Pettit and his family back in 2007. The defendant in the case, Joshua Komasarjewski, is facing a capital murder trial because today Judge John Blue denied a motion to dismiss the capital murder charges against him. Blue took over motions today after another judge, Brian Fisher, denied the defense motion to have Blue removed because they argue he had shown while presiding over the first trial for Stephen Hayes, that he had become emotionally involved. Commissar Devsky's father, who sat through all today's proceedings, had no comment as he left this evening. All the defense attorneys will say is that tomorrow will be an interesting day. And one of the biggest pre-trial pre motions is to move this trial to a different venue. That has been continued to February 23rd. Meantime, up for discussion tomorrow, the possibility of holding this trial over four-day work weeks. Reporting live in New Haven, Ted Coppy, News 8.